Hello and welcome to Aditya Classes where we are taking another question submitted to us by a fellow learner. Now this is a question where we will be solving this assignment problem using the Hungarian method. So I assume that we have seen our previous videos where we have solved the assignment questions and we will jump straight away to this. So what is our first step? It is row reduction or column reduction as you may take. So when we go for row reduction. What do we get? When we go for row reduction in this problem, we get minimum of each of the rows is subtracted from all other elements. Minimum in this row is 2. Let me subtract it from all. 3 minus 2 would be a 1. 8 minus 2 would be a 6. 0. 8 and 1. Here 2 is the minimum. So it will be a 6, 5, 0, 7 and 5. 6, 5, 7 and 5, 0. This will be a, I have 6. So it will become 4, 2, 0, 5 and 3. Here I will be having a 6, 2, 0. 1 and 3. Here I will be having subtract 6 from all giving me 3, 4, 0, 3, 4. So this is my row reduction. Next we need to go in for column reduction. At end of row reduction each row will be having at least one zero. You can see each row is having at least one zero. There may be more, but at least one. At end of column reduction, each column will be having at least one zero. There may be more, but there will be at least one in each column. What is the minimum in first column? We have a one. So it will be zero, five, three, five and Minimum is 2. So we have a 4, 3, 0 and 0 and 2. Everything is 0. So 0 minus 0 would be 0. Then 1 is minimum. So we get a 7, 6, 4, 0 and 2. Then we get a 0, 4, 2, 2, 3. Now you can see each column has at least 1, 0. We have 5 zeros, we have 2 zeros, but at least 1 is everywhere. And each row has at least one zero. So we have column reduction, we have row reduction. Now we can go for assignments. How do we go for assignment? First priority should be to check for unique zeros. Unique zero is alone in row and column. Alone in row and column. Important thing is alone in row and column. If there are no unique zeros, look for single zeros, which is alone in row or column. Unique is alone in its row and column. Single is alone in either its row or column. This will be the priority of assignment. First, second, priority of assigning zeros, fine, and then we'll be having minimum the row or column with minimum number of zeros. If we are not able to find either of these, we will select a row or column with minimum number of zeros. This is the priority for assigning zeros. So let us go ahead and make some assignments. If we look at this zero, in column it is single, but in row there are three zeros. Leave it for the moment. Here we have five zeros and three zeros. Row wise it has five zeros. Column wise it has three zeros. We will leave it. We are searching for unique zeros. 
column wise it is alone but row wise there are three we'll leave it about this five zeros and single five zeros and two five zeros and three zeros five zeros and one zero so there are no unique zeros there is no such situation that you'll have only one zero in its row and column this was one zero in its row but then there were lot many zeros in column a unique zero is one which is alone in its row and column it's not happening let me check single zeros when i move here there are three zeros but in column it is single no issues just select it just remove now it is unique why is it unique in column as it is it was a single zero in row there were two zeros but i have removed those zeros so now it is a unique zero assignment is always made in unique zero if it is not made in unique we make it unique it was a single zero i made it unique by removing the zeros now in second row is this a unique zero no it is not a unique but in row wise it is definitely a single zero so i can make an assignment over here and make it unique by removing all other zeros fine now when i move to third it is a single zero i'll make an assignment over here and now i have made it unique also removing the column zeros row wise it was alone column wise i have made it alone and then fourth row it has in fact become a unique and in fifth row i am left with no zeros at all so this is a case of degeneracy a better solution might be possible but i have few zeros my zeros are exhausted and i have not reached my optimum assignment i need five assignments there are five sources five destinations five machines five jobs five areas five salesmen but i have made only four assignments so this is not an optimum assignment it is a degenerate situation how do we resolve this degeneracy we draw horizontal and vertical lines how many horizontal and vertical lines 1 2 3 4 there are four assignments i'll draw four horizontal or vertical lines if there were three assignments i would have drawn two horizontal and vertical lines either horizontal or vertical it is up to you both can be horizontal both can be vertical one horizontal one vertical as you wish if we had this kind of scenario each row is having a zero each column is having a zero so it is row reduced column reduced i make an assignment over here making it unique i make an assignment over here making it unique two assignments hence you have to cut all the zeros in two lines i have to cut all the zeros in two lines either horizontal or vertical i have cut all the zeros in just two lines now this is a 4 by 4 game the 4 by 4 assignment i have made two assignments only i need four assignments so i need to cut all the zeros using only two lines they could be horizontal they could be vertical it is your choice and there can be multiple ways so there is no such thing as i have done this is it correct or incorrect there can be multi way multiple ways to draw those required horizontal and vertical lines so we have made four assignments so we get four lines to cut all zeros the idea is start with the most number of zeros most number of zeros are here i have cut five zeros in one stroke there are two zeros i have cut two more zeros this one and this one in one stroke so and then again i have two zeros over here i have removed this one also now one two three lines used i still have one line and i have some zeros unlocked here there is a zero which has not yet been cut 
Now, this zero can be cut in two ways, either with a horizontal line or a vertical line. So you can take either of these. So let me pick a horizontal line. Fine. So I have one, two, three, four lines. You can pick any. If you are not getting the idea, you can pick horizontal or vertical. It doesn't make sense. Uh, it doesn't make a difference. It will improve itself in next iteration. Even if you make a wrong choice, it will improve upon itself in the next iteration. So this is the idea. Now what we do is we prepare our next table. How do we go about our next table? There are three rules for creating our next table. What are those rules? I assume you have seen our previous videos on assignment. There are three rules. There is a rule for uncut cells. There is a rule for cut cells and there is a rule for intersection cells. Certain cells are uncut. Certain cells are cut. Certain cells are intersection cells. This is an intersection cell. So what are those rules? Uncut. Subtract. Mini. Mum. Of. Uncut values. For uncut, this is the rule. For cut cells, copy the values. Copy the values. And then there is intersection cells. For intersection, what do we do? Add. Minimum of uncut. So these three rules will be following. For uncut cells, that is this. These cells. For uncut cells, will be subtracting minimum of uncut values. Minimum is 3. Minimum is 2. So in all uncut cells, minimum is 2. I'll subtract 2 from all. What happens if I subtract 2 from this? It makes it a 3, 1. 4 and 2. From these, I will get a 0, 0, 0 and 1. I have subtracted the minimum of uncut values. I have subtracted the minimum of uncut values, that is 2, from all uncut cells. Done with this. Then copy the cut cells. These are the cells which have been cut only once. We will copy them. We will have a 0, 4, 7 and 0. Then there is a 3, 0, 5, 0. 3, 0, 5, 0. Then we have a 4, 2 and 0, 2. 4, 2 and 0, 2. It was also, achha, 4, 2, take it fine. Done. And then we have, this is uncut cell, this is uncut cell. So there is a 0 over here, there is a 0 over here. Now, if you see these three remaining cells, these are actually the intersection cells. I have an intersection over here. I have an intersection of the lines that I cut. I have an intersection. For intersections, we add the minimum value. What was the minimum of uncut? It was 2. I'll add it to these values. Uh, first intersection is here. I'll add it to 0 plus 2 is 2. These both will also become 2. So this is row reduction, column reduction. My first solution, which was degenerate, I made these adjustments. Oh, sorry, these adjustments, cutting the zeros with lines. And now I have my new table. Let me look if there is any unique zero. This zero looks like unique, alone in row, but not alone in column. These cannot be unique because they are multiple. These cannot be unique. This is not unique because there is a row. None of the zeros are unique. Look for single zeros. A double zero, leave it. This is a single zero. In row at least it is single. And now I have made it unique also. Nothing in its row. In column there was a zero, I have removed it. 
is it a single zero yes it is a single zero in row it was a single now in column also it is a single so it is a unique zero now do we have a single zero earlier it was not a single but now it this zero is cut so now i can assign over here now remove the remaining zeros so i have a single zero now it is made unique do i have a zero yes i have a zero it is single so i make this single assignment making it unique removing column in row it was single column now it is unique then i have gone through all rows and still i have only 1 2 3 4 assignments now let me check columns first column done no zeros second column third column fourth column no zeros in fifth column i can see there is a single zero where i can make an assignment now i have 1 2 3 4 and 5 assignments so this is my optimum solution now i can map these assignments to my original table original table was this this these two cells and then last cell now can we have a total cost for this assignment it is 3 plus 2 plus 4 plus 3 plus 9 5 and 9 9 and 9 18 total cost for this assignment best cost for this assignment is 21 i have my five assignments five desired assignments in assignment if you are able to make n number of assignments where n is the size of your square matrix in assignment will always have a, a square matrix if you are able to make n number of assignments that will definitely be optimum i am able to make five assignments this is definitely optimum so this was a question on assignment using hungarian method and until we meet next time to take care thanks for watching bye bye